What's Happening Delco? I'm Rich Shane and welcome to the What's Happening Delco podcast. Today I'm joined by Trish McFarland of the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce. Trish, welcome to the podcast. Rich, thank you so much for having me today. I'm super excited to be here. I am so looking forward to our discussion today. I've been looking forward to it very much since uh, I found out that we would have you on the schedule to talk about what does the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce do? So what do we do? The Delco yes, Chamber. What do you do? We are not a bank. So many people they'll, they'll think we're a bank or we are a government institution. We are not. Uh, the Chamber, our, our tagline is driving business forward. And we do that in our community through connections, education, and advocacy. Uh, but what is a Chamber? We are a membership-based business organization where we advocate and build relationships. How long have you been working with the Chamber and talk about your role with the Chamber? So my role now is I'm president of the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce. I have been doing chamber work since I graduated college. So it was like five years ago. Now, actually, I've been doing chamber work for 21 years. Um, I started right out of college. I worked for the Chester County Chamber for about six months. A position in Delaware County opened up uh, from Delco. So I uh, interviewed, got the job, and was at, have been doing chamber work ever since. So I was there for nine years left a little bit of time for four, and then came back as president in 2015. Now, so for people to know, as they get to know you, <laughs> yes, you, you know, when, when you started, you were five. So you were on Thank the you. whole accelerated college program. <laughs> so super smart. You know, I just, my parents saw a gift in me. <laughs> what are some of the roles? I mean, you said driving business forward, right? But what are some of the roles you feel or how you help to work with businesses to drive that forward? Uh, so, as I said, we're a membership-based organization. So, uh, membership in the chamber is not one size fits all. We are a little bit of something for everybody, which is always hard to be. But how we do that, what my job is, is to find out what a business's challenge is or what their goals are. And my job is to help them reach those goals, whether it's building relationships, uh, getting new business, if they're having, um, you know, an issue with state, local, or federal officials, our job is to figure out a way to get that problem solved. Now, we're in February. We're coming to the end of February 2023. I'd love to say that we're post-pandemic, but we're still post, you know, other things in terms of the challenges of the pandemic. Talk about even some of the conversations you're having with businesses in Delco that, you know, seem to come up and, and there's a consistent thread or some of the ways that the chamber is helping, you know, post that pandemic uh, business situation? So through the pandemic um, and that the um, we're doing the best we can and getting through this, it, you know, those buzzwords that everybody kept saying, um, the chamber was able to position ourselves as a resource um, where nobody knew where to turn. We tried to be that, okay, here's what you can do. Here's where you can get help. So ever since then, we've been kind of positioned to do that nicely in the future as well. So things that we're hearing right now is um, over the past year, uh, there's been a struggle with um, supply chain. And that's very much due to the pandemic that was due to um, folks not getting back to work or being able to work. So there was a lot of challenges and issues facing that. So supply chain issues faced everybody, even if it was a consultant dealing with clients. Um, everybody had some sort of issue with that. We see that's coming, it's lessening a little bit, but now we're seeing um, interest rates, um, the cost of money. That is something that is facing everybody, whether they're borrowing money, you know, looking for a new retail space, you name it. Uh, what, the, what the economy looks like is really a top in everybody's minds right now. Um, also, if if it's not just a mom and pop shop, if it's somebody that has employees attracting and retaining talent, number number one issue that our larger businesses are facing. And then a lot of fraud. Uh, you know, how do you protect yourself online, technology, uh, your banking, writing checks, um, you name it, people are, are facing that as well. So those are kind of, kind of the top trends that we're seeing right now in issues that are facing businesses. And collectively bringing all these businesses 
bringing all these businesses together in Delaware County, you now have resources to help those businesses with those challenges and bring, you know, those solutions together and hear how those solutions are helping one that you can transition to another business. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of times, especially with the fraud or, um, you know, technology, people being taken for a lot of money, phishing on, on emails, people don't know what they don't know until it's too late. So our job is try to like bang over your heads like, no, you really need to know about this before it's too late. Um, so just being able to educate the businesses. But again, if it's a, somebody that's working in their business day in and day out, it's hard to get them to think about the future and um, kind of educating themselves before it's too late. So, um, you know, but just working with the people that have the solutions and getting it to the the businesses before they need those solutions is really kind of a challenge that we face. Now, you have events and activities coming up for the members. Talk about some of the activities that people can expect as they are, are you know, part of the chamber. Absolutely. So we, um, as you mentioned, we have educational opportunities. Uh, we have a, upcoming, we have a, a fraud seminar on how to protect yourself while working with some of our banks, what to do to protect yourself, what they're seeing. Uh, a lot of their clients are facing and how we can protect ourselves from that. Uh, we also off the, offer the opportunity for people that are learning or want to open their own business or start their own small business. We partner with the, the organizations that do that well with SCORE um, and uh, the Widener SBDC will work with them and, and help to put on programs and seminars to educate people on that. Um, for our larger businesses, DEI is a hot topic. So we want to make sure that people have the resources. And again, in mid-sized businesses, they might not have their own person on staff that might be able to do their DEI training or education. So we'll partner with some of our larger um, educational institutions to kind of put together programs to teach those businesses how to do uh, things like that. So uh, and then we're always um, educating our what our larger businesses are doing for our small businesses and then things that are happening in the government and what's happening at the state um, county, federal level, as well as what's happening with our infrastructure, like SEPTA and Aqua and PICO, things like that. So those are all hot topics that are that you'll see in the next uh, next uh, six to eight weeks. One quick question for those that don't know what DEI stands for. What does that stand mm -hmm. for? DEI stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion. So that's making sure that people of various backgrounds feel welcomed in everything you're doing. Tremendous. So you've got these things coming up and you have people in place that can really set businesses up for success. Because the last thing you want to be doing as a business owner is chasing after something that you could have been prepared for in your business or already had in place that's going to distract you from doing the day to day stuff, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's we want to make um, the other stuff that is associated with your business a little bit easier. What? motivates you, Trish? What gets you out of bed every day? What gets me out of bed? My kids and my dog. No, <laughs> no, seriously. What motivates me is um, being able to make the connections for people that, are, you know, are solving the problems for people in their businesses. There's nothing more rewarding than helping another person's business grow or land their next client or make a sale. My members or the chamber's members' success is my business. So, Helping others succeed is what makes me get out of bed and what makes the chamber most successful. Who mentors you? Who do you look up to? Are there people in your life that impact you today? Yes, uh, there are so many people that I look to at, for mentors on a variety of different topics. And um, I am so fortunate to have, I have two boards of directors at the chamber. We also have a foundation that does our education um, and education and business um, things for the chamber. So with two boards, I have about 40 day-to-day -day mentors or bosses. Uh, in my personal life, my parents are, are amazing. But um, at the chamber, I, I surround myself with a couple different um, people in different organizations in different facets of the business world. So I can look to and lean on them for the things I just don't know about. If anybody has a good sense of the heartbeat of Delaware County, Let's call it Delco, right? 
How do you explain Delco to those that have either never been here or are just coming to the county? Delco is a way of life. There is really no other place like it in the world. Um, you, you know, sometimes I feel like I need to have a, a passport when I leave Delco because it is all, it's everything I do and everything I know. But um, you can, I, I've had a, a board member that's gone, that's been, you know, in Europe and they're standing there. Oh, where are you from? And oh, I'm from Delco too. I don't think you get that anywhere else, right? You know, outside of Philadelphia, Delco really is its own brand. Um, and it's a way of life. The people, um, the things we have here, the the arts, the culture, it's just amazing. And it, there's really no place like it. To your point, people might say, instead of, you know, mentioning the town that they're from, they'll say Delco. And I think that's something somewhat unique to Delco that they'll say, hey, I'm, you know, I'm not from Drexel Hill or I'm not from Havertown or I'm not from you know, Glen Mills. I'm from Delco. Okay. And I, I think mm -hmm. that's very fascinating as to how uh, there's that connection and that association and identity with who they are when they say to other people, this is where I'm from, right? Right, right. The six de six degrees of Delco. I love that. There's always a way you can figure out a way somebody's going to re be related to life through Delco. Now, you're going to the chamber or you've left for a long day and you mentioned your kids and they want cheesesteaks or you want a cheesesteak. Where are you stopping for a cheesesteak? Where am I stopping for a cheesesteak? So if I'm stopping for a cheesesteak on my way home from work, it might, on my way home, it might be at the Dairy Cottage because I, I live pretty close to the Dairy Cottage. Um, but I, yeah, I would say maybe Dairy Cottage, Delco Steaks, Thunderbird. Uh, probably my uh, my top places. I'm trying to think of all my members that might. <laughs> I I too. saw it working in your eyes that you were yeah. referencing. Look, uh, you're not slating anybody. No, no, no. It's just a matter sometimes that hey, I'm on. If I'm in my car, I'm on in traffic. I need yeah. to get some, a dairy cottage or you know D yeah. Thunderbird. So that's yeah. that's just sometimes how that works. And Delco Steaks now has a um where you can do miniature golf while you're waiting for your cheesesteak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, it's and a drink beers, I understand too. So there's if that you're too. into that. <laughs> now you had your cheesesteak, and you want a pizza option. Where are you going for pizza? Where am I going for pizza? So, um, love pizza from Bell Roma, which is another place in Springfield. Thunderbird Pizza. Um, but my daughter works at a new restaurant in Springfield called Dom and Mia's, and she brings home. They have these small little pizzas, like an appetizer. I probably I'm telling everybody a little secret. I can eat the whole pizza myself. It is so good. <laughs> well, now that sounds delicious. Dom and me is and go see your daughter and, um, you know, talk her up and, uh, you know, how, how that's going over at the new restaurant. Exactly. Exactly. You are uh, driving to work mm -hmm. and you need a convenience store option. Where are you stopping? Wawa? I'm going to Wawa. Farms? Okay. I'm going to Wawa. They're members. <laughs> Chamber members. Doesn't even doesn't even get the rest of it out. I'm, I'm, I might as well just have stopped there, but I need to get the farms. Out. They're not joining. Forget okay. it. I'm kidding. I mean, support all your businesses. Trish, you have friends or family coming in from out of town and you want to take them or send them to give them that Delco experience. Where are you sending them or taking them? Okay. Uh, beyond going to a chamber meeting, and after that, you let them go, right? <laughs> right, yeah. Everybody's coming to a chamber meeting. You gotta, you gotta network. You gotta know how to network. Um, I would, you know, it depends on if you're looking at family. You know, you got kids. Lynn Villa is always a great place, or Newland Grist Mill. Um, if it's uh, a couple or adults for different beverages, there's so many different options for that. But a lot of great wineries, Grace Winery. Penswood Winery, Chadsford Winery, uh, some of the Penswood Winery has some of the best sunsets in Delco. Now it's right on the border of Delco, Chadsford, um, Delaware, but Penswood, the, it's just amazing if you're you're there on a um, nice, beautiful, cloudless evening, a uh, perfect place for sunsets. Um, or, you know, now we have a couple different options for ice skating. So if families are looking for things. There's an ice skating rink at Harrah's. There's an ice skating rink out in Newtown Square. So um, there's so many great things here, right here in Delaware County. A lot of um, open space. Uh, John Hines Refuge down by, by the airport. Um, that's a beautiful place to go hiking or um, 
Rose Tree Park if you're just looking for different things. So it really depends on uh, who I'm sending to do something, but there's always something to do here in Delco. Now, your energy was beaming from the beginning when we started talking, but I saw this another, I saw another level of energy as you started to talk about all the different things to do and enjoy in Delco. Mm -hmm. From that, I also see you not as just, hey, president of the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce. You're also an ambassador to Delco. Absolutely. There's now, while we have so many great places surrounding us, you don't really need to leave. What you need to do is all right here in Delaware County. We're two hours from New York, two hours from Washington, D.C., um, 10 minutes from Center City, Philadelphia. But there's no traffic here. Um, well, there's a little bit of traffic, but you really can do experience all the old arts and culture and um, wonderful outdoor things. Theater right here in Delaware County. You mentioned about learning how to network. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as a chamber president, as seeing people interact quite often, what do you think are some of the challenges as to how people are networking? Or what would you give as one tip for networking that, uh, you know, kind of stands out for you with somebody that's out there, you know, trying to grow and build their business? Just listen. Just listen. Um, people get intimidated when they hear the word networking. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I don't know how to do it. I can't meet new people. I'm not going by myself. But all you really need to do is listen to somebody, get them to talk about themselves, listen to what they're saying, nod, smile, give them a little feedback, and you've just made a new friend. It's it's really it, the secret to networking is just listening. That's perfect. That's That's great. And, you know, when you talk about partnerships and you talk about networking, What's happening, Delco and the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce, we've partnered for a morning networking event. It's Delco Meets for Business. And what we, you know, this is a value add to the chamber members. It's a value add for those businesses in the Delco community. Uh, We meet every other, we meet every Thursday at different places. So you can check that out on the chamber's website um, or at Delco Meets for Business for Meetup. And we're, we're grateful for this partnership because I think that what it does is really brings a lot more businesses together at a time when we need to help lift each other up and we need to help strengthen you know that growth because the more businesses stay in business, everybody wins. Absolutely, Rich. And I'm so glad you brought that up because that's just a nice example of some of the partnerships that we do. Um, we had no expectations of putting that event together. That was just a side conversation that you and I had at an event where, you know, I shared with you a challenge and you got it. You came up with a solution. And now we've built this great networking group, less intimidating way to network. You make it nice and easy. So and that's really what makes Delco so unique is that we are able to kind of have conversations like that and not with no intentions of of figuring it out, but it just kind of surfaces as as we kind of go through our day-to-day operations in life. It's so cool the way that these things happen. All right. Again, tons of energy. I'm just going to go out and run around Delco. I'm going to do the whole perimeter from from the enthusiasm and the energy that you bring. Is there anything that we haven't talked on the podcast today? Is there anything, any of the listeners that you want to let them know about Trish McFarland or the Delaware County Chamber? I would love to let people know that the success of the chamber is really due to my team. I have four amazing team members, uh, Jess, Jacqueline, Kenny, and Kathy. They really make the chamber work. And then on top of that, the volunteers and the members of the chamber. We are a small staff and we try to be everything to everybody. But the only way we do that is through our members and our volunteers, which really makes us amazing. If somebody is looking for more information, membership for the chamber, some of these events that you have coming up, how do they find you? Delco Chamber. Delco Chamber on the web and Delco Chamber on all social media. Follow us on social media so you can see what's happening, what's happening in Delco. Like Rich and his crew at What's Happening Delco. Um, follow us and and we'll share information just to, so you can know what, what's going on and um, you know get involved. 
Trish, thank you so much for being a friend of What's Happening Delco. I know you've got a very busy schedule in your day, and I am grateful for the time you took to meet with us. And uh, we can't wait to just enjoy all the successes that you have in your team in the chamber and uh, and just watch the growth of uh, what's happening with the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce. Awesome. Well, Rich, thank you so much for having me today. Uh, this has been so fun. Uh, and, you know, um, every everybody I meet, I try to bring this, this energy too because it really helps to um, build our brand. So thank you. Thank you for sharing my enthusiasm. For and here's show. the thing, it's infectious. So yeah, that's yeah, the right. other thing. I, I don't want to say infectious in the world we live in now, but this is a good kind of infectious. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Rich. Thanks, Rich.